Hello everyone, I'm Simon. Welcome to Mama Says. Today I'm here to talk to you about something all parents dread. The teething phase. It's one of those phases that you don't really have a choice but to overcome. And there's a lot of things you can do to help baby and to help your own sanity in the process. So let's start. So you know what? A baby can teeth and like cut their first tooth at three months. And there can be another baby that cuts their first tooth at a year. There is no really fixed time for when that tooth is going to come out. I know Zephyr started, um, you know, getting teeth. Well, I would say decently early. Serena is about to cut her first tooth. It's not really there yet. And it's fine. Zero comparisons. Like I said, every baby is different. I mean, and listen, what's the rush of the teething process? You don't really want to rush that. Trust me. Um, having said that, there are a lot of signs that you can look out for to know that your baby is teething. A couple of those signs is excess drooling. And hey, before I continue, let me tell you that a baby can show signs of teething up to like one to two months before the tooth even really comes out. So you may not see that tooth, but remember, it takes a lot for that tooth to push through those soft gums of theirs and come out. So it's not like, oh, I'm teething today and three days from now, the tooth's going to be out and boom. No, like I said, it can happen. It can take up to a month, maybe even two months, but the teething process can begin a lot sooner than that. So a few signs to look out for when to know that your baby is teething is, like I said earlier, excess drool. When the babies, you know, I mean, of course, all babies drool. But when it's excessive and you can see that there's just no matter what the baby is doing, she's either trying to like make all these funny noises like and let a lot of spit out. Um, Serena is starting to do that now or even just sitting with their mouth open like and just having drool come out all the time. That is definitely a clear sign of teething. So another really clear sign of teething is when they develop a rash around their, you know, mouth and chin area. Because of excess drool and their skin is so sensitive, it tends to kind of like get into these little breakouts of a rash. So that's another sign. Of course, a clear sign is when they are, you know, especially a baby that sleeps well through the night or is sleeping well, you know, for their naps and whatever and suddenly isn't sleeping well through the night and is irritable and is always cranky in the night and you can't understand why. That could definitely be a clear sign of teething. A lot of people say that fever is a sign of teething. My doctor says it's not, um, but I guess to each his own. So there's a bunch of stuff that we've done for Zephyr and we're about to start doing it for Serena. And I want to share that with you. Um, of course, we all know that there are teethers out there, but the kind of teether you use, according to me, really does matter. Uh, one of the teethers that we absolutely love, I've said this on a couple of videos before, I've said this on Instagram, is, ta-da, the famous Sophie La Giraffe. This um, is not only, you know, makes all the squeaky noises, it's not only got all this high contrast image which children love, it's also really easy to hold and grip. It's 100% natural, made of rubber, it's got, its benefits are endless. I think Sophie is my number one choice of teether by far. Sophie doesn't only come in this version. Sophie also comes in this version. And personally, in our household, this version has scored better than that version. Because this version is one, tinier. Two, it has these grip handles. So you can literally, like the baby just grips because we know babies are developing their pincer grip. So it's easy for them to grip onto this versus holding that, which could fall. It's not that they can't hold this. It's just the possibility of this falling and then you having to, you know, kind of sterilize and clean it again is higher than this one. So guys, have you ever thought of why a child wants a teether and wants to like bite onto something? Imagine that pressure on their gums, you know, they're so tiny anyway and their gums are so soft and like new and whatever and then these hard teeth are coming out so all they want to do is like ah like put that pressure on something so what you're giving them to put the pressure on really does matter which is why we love products that are more natural than plastic 
Having said that, we can't avoid the plastic completely. There are some products made um, of, well, plastic and silicon and whatnot that we definitely do use. A couple of those products are by Newbie. So again, Newbie is my second favorite teething brand, but my favorite in its own right because Newbie does ice bites. So an icy bite, um, we have two of these. So what these do is you can put these in the freezer and they've got some sort of a gel substance inside the teether. So when, you're, when you pull it out of, the, uh, out of the freezer, it's nice and cold. So baby gets a lot of soothing, you know, when we have a toothache or anything, we eat ice cream, we eat cold stuff to make ourselves feel like, you know, a little more numb, a little more just relaxed. So these icy teethers definitely work. They worked great with Zephyr. So, like I said, I have two of these. Um, Nubi does a whole range of ICT girls. You can just get on our Amazon and buy your own. We're going to link it down below anyway. Um, now, having said that, if for whatever reason you choose to not, um, you know, invest in one of these, and like I said, it basically helps soothe the gums, right? If the gums are sore and it helps soothe them. So. Having said that, if you don't want to invest in one of these, they're not very expensive. But for some reason, if you don't want to, and that's absolutely fine, you can even take a clean washcloth. Like a washcloth is a small um, towel, a really small one. Dip it in drinking water and just put it in the freezer. Because when it comes out, it's going to be hard, cold, and baby can just chew on that as well. Um, remember, a washcloth, I'm going to take my words back. A washcloth is not a towel. It is a washcloth. It's the soft cloths that you use to clean your baby's mouth after they eat and whatnot, right? We don't necessarily want a towel because we don't want any of those fibers coming into the baby's mouth at any cost. So these are our, um, a couple of our procedures and process that we follow with teething. So you see, basically all these teethers have one job, which is to massage and stimulate the gums and kind of soothe them. Um, we also use this beaded teether from Nubi. I love this one for when we're on the go because we all know that it's very easy for a child to drop whatever's in their hand because it's not like their pincer grip is that strong as yet. They can be holding something one minute and then just let go and boom, there goes that teether on the floor. And of course, you can't put it in your baby's mouth at that point. Neither can you sterilize it when you're out and on the go. So this one really works well for us. It's, it's got a little clip here. So it just clips on to like the baby's, you know, clothes. And then she can just play with it whenever she wants and ah, uh, ah, uh, uh. Put it in her mouth, chew. She can also chew these beaded parts. It's stimulating, it's like a toy, and but it does the job to help soothe her teething woes. So there's a bunch of people that um, use homeopathy for teething. I'm a I'm all for homeopathy. I personally haven't tried it for teething with my kids as yet. So I can't really comment on it. Um, but all the mums I know, you know, they swear by something called BC21. Um, and they really, really use it and love it. We, on the other hand, use something called um, Ashton and Parsons powder. This, I'm, I, I'm not sure if this is available in India. Um, but I think the, uh, so this is not homeopathy. This is more of a herbal medicine. Um, we buy this from London. It's available everywhere. Uh, having said that, if you don't get this and you know, you're unable to have any access to it, I would definitely suggest go to like a nice, um, you know, homeopath, someone you trust and get good medicines for your child. Cause you definitely don't want to put all those, you know, chemically induced gels and what not in your baby's mouth, they're so small. So try and go as natural as you can, very honestly. Um, I would say on a really, really severe night, if it gets really bad, and you know, the, the uh, Ashton Parsons powder or the homeopathy isn't working, that is when I would give my paracetamol. We use Calpol, but whatever you use, um, it could be Vicks, it could be um, Tylenol, whatever paracetamol you use or you, you and your child are used to, that works. Having said that, I don't give this just at the drop of a hat. You know, the symptoms have to be really, really bad and uncontrollable and it has to be the middle of the night where no one can really do much. And that's when we really go and, you know, kind of go down this route. But um, 
Otherwise, all the other natural stuff that I spoke about really works, guys. It helps a lot. And you know, it's our responsibility to, to kind of spot those symptoms and then do whatever we can to ease the baby's pain. Because obviously we know the child can't talk. You know, we have to keep a lookout for all that's happening. And that was my teething story with Zephyr and now with Serena. I would love to hear more from you because I'm sure that there's a lot of stuff that I haven't tried or I don't know about yet. So I would love to hear from you. Please share it in the comments below. Your tips and tricks are absolutely valuable to me. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel as yet, do it now and click that bell icon. See you next time, guys.